What's going on YouTube? My name is Joshua Wade. I want to thank you for taking the time to check out this video. And this is a follow up. If you guys are watching this one, you probably watched the first one. If not, I will leave links in the description down below of my beautiful Les Paul Classic Light. And here are the most questions that were asked, the most asked questions in there in no particular order. So first uh, question is, how much does it weigh? Which I actually didn't answer in the first video, surprisingly enough, kind of slipped my mind. Uh, the weight on my personal guitar comes in at 7.95 pounds. After I threw it on the scale, I checked it out. I was actually surprised by that. And that weight comes from A, and I apologize if I keep looking off to the side over here because I've got my notes right in front of me. Um, the body is mahogany and the neck is mahogany. The fretboard is rosewood, but it is a nine hole weight relieved body or chambered is what I guess we always called them back in the day, right? I don't think it's the same as chambered, but this is a nine hole weight relief. Um, the next question again, and these are in no particular order. The case is a thinner case. It's not an SG case. It's a Gibson Les Paul light case. So they are actually thinner. I compared this to my buddy's Les Paul case and they're different. So be careful if you want to go buy a secondary one, just keep that in mind. So the neck is a slim taper neck. So it's not like playing a four x four or anything like that. It's kind of borderline of perfect for me. It's not too thin. I don't like playing credit cards and it's not too beefy. I don't like a really thick neck. Um, the body is thin with a belly cut on the back of it, similar to what I would compare to kind of an LTD EC1000 or like the ESP Eclipse. If you've ever played one of those, this is very similar uh, as far as the feel goes. Uh, what else do I have on my notes here? Okay, so it comes set up with nines, which I was really surprised. Um, I'm a 10 player, so I had it switched to 10 to 56 and had it set up for that. Still plays great. This has been over a year later, by the way. Um, I still play it all the time. Love this guitar. Uh, one of my gripes about it when I got it, and I'll show you in some B-roll, I put a snark tuner on the headstock. It left a little indention because the finish was still kind of soft. So if you guys are ever going to order one of these, just uh, be aware that the finish uh, is super fresh. So just be careful if you're putting anything on the headstock. Uh, what else do I have on my notes here that might be... Okay, so the scale, 24.75 inches. Somebody asked that in the other video, and I honestly didn't know until like two hours ago until I looked it up. Um, it's If you're used to a regular Les Paul, guys, this one's not much different other than the weight, to be honest with you. It, it really, after you play it for an hour or two, you really don't notice other than the weight relief that it is not a traditional Les Paul. You know, it's not three inches thick. I'm exaggerating, they're not really that thick, but, and it doesn't weigh 40 pounds. Another exaggeration. <laughs> So I think that's everything. Those were the most asked questions. But again, if you guys have any questions that maybe weren't asked on the first video or just leave them down below on this one and I, I will try to get back to you guys. These were the ones that were just asked a lot. So I figured I'd make another kind of follow up video. And if you guys got anything out of this video, continued support is greatly appreciated. Of course, you know that. So just hit that subscribe button, maybe hit the thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.